You're in the dark and you want to see You need a Electricity, electricity Flip that switch and what do you get? You get a Electricity, electricity Every room can now be lit with just a Electricity You guys know this guy? You've forgotten no. about him. I am the next door neighbor. Mm. I terrorized the whole city of Bagot. <laughs> you guys remember Herman. <laughs> Herman was over here helping me tonight. So what we're doing today is we're making a low tension coil. Do you know what a low tension coil is? Well, it's, it's something that's Herman, down there. Say no. 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 Okay. Good. So now I can explain it. <laughs> Anyway, we need a low tension coil because we have a hit and miss engine over there that requires a low tension coil for an igniter. So how do we make it a low tension coil? Go on. A lot of this work. Should be, this should a lot be, of, lot this of should, work. This should be really fucking interesting. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of grinding. You see, we made a little donut. Oh, that's and where I stuck my finger in your ear. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> hey! Okay, man. so anyway, we've got, we got a can. That was a bean can. And we have a, um, just a wood top. Herman was grinding away at this. That's when I stuck my <laughs> finger in his ear. And we put a couple of thumb screws on there, drill the hole, and just attach them through, and that just goes right on there. So why does that all go on there like that? See that? Kind of nifty. Doesn't have to be like. Can be a wooden box. Can be a. I don't care what it can be. It can be anything you like. So, so here I have, and it's kind of dark, but uh, here I have an igniter. That's igniter off this. Uh, Jesus, what is that? That's a um, Waterloo. Waterloo hit and miss. It's got an igniter. For an igniter, you need a low tension coil, which has kind of a points, touching points. So what I have here is a, what is that Herman? You know what that is? It's a bunch of something. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of something. So this is a solenoid. So in my work, quite often I come across, you know, just decommissioned um, machines that use solenoids to actuate a valve. So we've had many, many of these machines over the years and I just, you know, before they hit the garbage, I just take the parts off them. Stuff like this, you know. This brand new would run you, I don't know, about 50 or 60 bucks. Which is not that much really, but like I said, before they hit the scrap pile, I just take out the parts that I could use for them. Um, this one is pretty well wore out. If you put the solenoid plunger inside here, it binds up. Um, so that's why I don't keep them. Either I throw them in the garbage or I use them for a coil. So in this, in this, um, what did I call this from? Solenoid. Solenoid. <laughs> in this solenoid, our wires wound round and round and round and round. And so basically a perfect uh, low tension coil would have between 7 and 12 ohms of resistance. Well, wouldn't you know that this solenoid has how many? 10. 10. It has 10 ohms of resistance. So if you want to make this even better <clears throat> and make an even better spark, you add an iron core, which you would have in a coil. Well, to add a, co a core, you take a whole bunch of little rods of steel. These are a little bit coated, and they're from coat hangers. You round all that hole, pack them in tight, and then your magnetic um, field becomes, I don't know what the power of that is, but it's at least double what it would be without that in it. So then there's things about eddy currents and all that kind of stuff. And we don't have to get into all that because it would bore you and I'd have to make most of it up. So, right? I'd have to lie. <laughs> I'd have to lie about it, basically. So I'll tell you what. We will, um, what we'll do is we won't put these in yet. We'll hook this up to this igniter. And you can see the spark that it makes 
without the um, soft iron core, which are these coat hangers. How's that sound? Yeah? Okay. Okay. So we got the igniter. There it is. There's your points. Not touching. <clears throat> so you can't really screw this up. Well, you can, but you shouldn't. So, <laughs> so we have the, the, uh, what's it called? Solenoid. Solenoid. <laughs> Solenoid with 10 ohms of resistance running from the positive all the way over to a hookup on the igniter and the other part of the igniter, which is your uh, fixed pole on the igniter, heading over the negative. It's just a circuit. That's all it is. So how are we going to do this? Are we going to... Uh, Herman, do you want to hold that there? Sure. If you can just kind of hold that right there. Oh my god. Okay, I got 90 it. 90 year old hands. Right over there. Come 77. on. 77. Oh, sorry, 77. 77 year old hands. Okay. So let's just look at... Where are you going? Where are you going? Well, where, where are you going with the camera? Well, I can... I can... <clears throat> there. Got her. Right there. If I left it to him, he'd have it on his crotch pretty soon, and then you'd be looking at that, so... I'll and now it ignites. Oh, no, I'll turn this light on. No, Sorry. It's got to be. Okay, there you go. There it is. So this is without the iron core inside that, what is it called? Solenoid. Solenoid. Can you see that? Oh, there it is. Can you see it? It's a spark mic. You can't really see it, can you? It's, it's not, not worth, here. it ain't worth a shit. Okay, so <clears throat> what are we going to do next? We're going to pack those iron, where are you going with that camera? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to pack those rods into that solenoid, and then we'll turn the camera back on. Okay. I got this. You show us, show you us have, this. You, you had a little square in there. Show us this. Show us the solenoid. There, there it you is. go. <laughs> solenoid? 77-year-old hands on that, eh? Look at that. <laughs> God. Yep. Um, anyway, so we got packed full of iron rods. Coat hangers. We'll put that over there in case it decides to shoot across <laughs> the counter. Coat hangers, yeah. So now we want to see how much better our spark is. Look at Herman, he just moves that camera all over the place. Oh, I, I'm It'd be great right for the, on. It'd be perfect for the Blair Witch Project. So here it is. Here's this. That's it. We can zoom in. Let's see? Can we zoom it's in? Right there. Yeah, zoom in. There we go. Now you hold that steady, Herm. You got it? Got her. Let's see if we get better spark. Yeah, you can see it, but it's still dull. Well, you're not supposed you're to say that. You're supposed to say it's fucking amazing. <laughs> Let me back up so you <laughs> see it more. How about if I turn there the lights off? I'm going to turn the lights off right there now with this. There it is. How's that? Now you see a flame. Right Much on. better spark. At least twice as good, right, Herman? Oh, yeah. You could fry eggs on that uh, spark. Herman agrees. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> shaky cam technology. All right, so anyway, there we go. Let me just zoom that out for you guys. So that's the story. 12 volt battery. What's it called? Uh, something. Oh, yeah, something. Solenoid. <laughs> Solenoid pack with steel rods uh, to the igniter. So now we gotta do is just package that up in a cute little package, which we have already. And, uh, We'll try it out and make sure it works. And we're back again. We're back. I just wanted to say that uh, Herman just had his his uh, intestines checked out. And uh, everything is good, right? You're shitting all. Everything is wonderful. Oh, yeah. Well, they fingered me every which way, so I must be okay. <laughs> and then he limped over here and he said he hit his knee on the, on the what'd you say? On the fucking on the door, door frame. <laughs> <laughs> he hit his knee on the door frame and... And then he almost shit himself because his arse was so loose from his inspection that so you know I guess that's that's what happens when you get old. Anyway, so here we go. <clears throat> um, <laughs> don't be shy. Don't be shy. We're only talking about your asshole here. It's not a big deal, right? Okay, lungs not my front. No, it's not your front. <laughs> your back's fucked up enough as it is, we don't have to talk about your front. Okay, so we got uh we got a, a just a can. This held um, beans. Herman's beans, beans he ate, which had to be cleaned out of the system before he had his asshole checked out. And uh, here's the solenoid with the uh, rods in it. So we're going to take that solenoid, we're going to wrap it up with some tape, 
<laughs> just because there's there's always the off chance that these could come shooting out of there. And we don't need that, so we'll just tape it up. That's our top for our can, which we just have, oops, let me do it. Which we just have a couple of brass thumb screws attached. Nothing special. And we'll make our wire connections for those guys onto these. And that'll be it. It'll be a little self-contained uh, low tension coil. So let me put you on the camera and let's do that. Alright. I'm just going to wrap that up. Just so that when I apply power to that solenoid, the, uh, they don't all fly out and kill me. <laughs> or kill somebody. <laughs> no, he uses that duct tape. It's a freaking pro. I got this plastic here. I'll just take that plastic and I'll wrap it up. Just so it's not like flopping around in the can. There's probably way better ways you could use some, um, some, what could you use? Some, uh, rock wool, you know, stuff like that. Something insulating. But, uh, we're not all that fussed about that. Oh, where'd he go? He's fucked off. Looking for a knife. Looking for a knife. <laughs> Just looking for a knife. Boy. There you go. Yeah, but I'm old. You see, I can't do yeah, this. His fingers are weak. <laughs> there it is. Good. Good enough. Now what? Can we wrap it up and leave the wires out? We'll wrap it up in this plastic, Herman. Don't we want to put sides to it or not? You want to put sides on? Why you think not? It's going to blow up? Yeah, put some more. more here. Sure. We may as well blow it up. Blow it up real Gently. Good. There you go. Gently. <clears throat> it has been hot, hot, hot here lately. It is, uh, it's going to 34 Celsius on Saturday, and still Herman refuses to put the air conditioning in. I actually, I actually offered to put the air conditioning in his house for him, and he said, "No, no, no, I'll, uh, I'll just sleep on the dirt in the basement, and, and, and don't worry about it, Vince. It's yeah. all, it's fine." Well, I sleep with the other vermins. <laughs> with the other rats. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I think it's... 20, 30 more wraps on that, or is that no, pretty good? No, heck no, that'll... that'll All right. That'll. Good. Now you can't get your... He's so weak, he can't get his fingers off the tape now. We'll have to take him, <laughs> to, to, take him to the emergency to get his hands off of it. Let's try wrapping it up in this plastic. Okay. All right. Leave me the wires sticking out, though. Well, you do it. What are you asking me to do it for? Okay. For sakes, I've done enough. Well... Okay, we shall wrap this thing. Can, we, can anyone see this? Yeah, you can see that. There you go. We've got to wrap this thing nice if we're going to do a good job. Oh, boy. See? I've seen your Christmas presents. See? Yeah, wrap I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. I can't help but. <laughs> there, and if we have some other kind of tape, we could just put it Put it Other in. kind, like the kind that you can rip with your own hands. Like, <laughs> yeah. Will that fit in the can? Okay. Oh, it'll a... fit. We could even use a bit more of it. some more. Okay. Yes, make it tight so it don't. Well, if you would work down around. by the table, I wouldn't have to fuck with so this can. So it don't bounce around. All right, we need some more. I got a. Uh... Give me that inside. What you got? What is it? I think I got an old douche bag here that you could probably <laughs> use. Yeah. How's that? Good enough. It'll seem like it was there forever. That's what my parents said about me. <laughs> good enough. He's good enough. Fuck, we can't get rid of him. There seems we go. Like he's gonna, seems like he's going to be around forever. And look at that. That's what they had in my... <laughs> oh, that's that's the air gap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how's that fit now? Is oh, that good? just uh, like a glove. Look at that. that. All right. Now uh, you can shake that up, never hurt. Now what? Gonna, now we shall we shall hook these up. I get on, I'm gonna get in this. Herman's <laughs> doing everything. I better just record this. And we'll hook this up. Is there some reason I don't have a drink in my hand? What the? Oh, okay, we'll get that later. And we tighten it up. And we <laughs> apparently knows what he's doing. We also put this one. Well, this has got to be the right one. Yeah, because it's your right hand, yeah. 
<laughs> Obviously. Left hand is the left one, right one's the right one. Is that it? That is it. No, that's not right. No, that's not right. Okay. This thing is not... I actually thought you were going to put those wires underneath the washer, but if you want to put them there, that's fine by me. I don't care. It's all right by me, too. We're just building a, an igniter here. It's not a not some kind of a weird science project. There it is. Yeah, and the other one's snug? The other one is snug. All right. Now what? Now that's we it? just put them all together. Make sure it don't break. Put it in. Set it in. Perfect. There it is. Finished. Look at him. Just look at him. Would you just look at him? <laughs> just look oh, how yes. He, just look how proud he is of Professional. himself. Professional. How proud he is of himself. <laughs> oh Do you want to make a muscle or something or anything? Oh yeah, Mickey. Nice. There you go. <laughs> All right, there it is. There is your low tension igniter. Well, that ain't so bad, really. It's kind of cool. Say uh, igniter in a can. Is that what we should call it? Igniter in a can. Yep. That's a, that's a really good name for this video. Yep. Igniter in a can. Can ignite anything. Yeah. Should we should we test it on an engine yeah, and make sure you, it actually works and yeah. it's not a piece of junk or? Uh... The new name for it is can ignite anything. That is a can. I'm, just, I'm waiting for him to run out of words. <laughs> he's he's going to run out of words. Okay, quickly. I'm out of words. Oh, okay, that's it. Okay, let's try it on the engine and see how it goes. All right, guys. So we're all hooked up. We'll just leave it as is. Basically, the the the, the telling truth of the whole thing is whether if the coil works or not is whether it fires. And uh, let's set the fuel. Half open. Electricity, 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 electricity. 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 electricity.